This may end up being one of the weirdest episodes of Tuesday's online video news that you guys have seen yet from me. Just coming up. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and it's Tuesday. Time to take another look at what happened in the online video world last week and talk about what those changes might mean for those of us who are video creators. First of all, I want to get through three links really quick for you. All this stuff is linked up below and I promise you I am not doing justice to a lot of these things. I'm skimming over them really quickly, but I want to point them out to you in case they're of interest of you. And the first one is that you've probably noticed that all channels across YouTube have been forced over to, to the new one channel design. And if you are one of those creators who hasn't yet set up your channel for the new design, Megan O'Neill writes a great little summary about how you can go ahead and just setting it up and getting it all organized and ready to go over on her website, tubegeeks.com. So go check that out. Also, TubeFilter launched the top 50 most viewed YouTube channels of last week. I think that could be helpful for us as creators to kind of see who's on the rise and who's kind of on the way out and what kind of content is starting to perform better than the other types of content. You could probably find a lot of useful things from this list. And the third quick story for you guys is that the Vine app is now available on Android. A lot of us have been enjoying it on iOS for a long time. I know I have definitely seen a lot of really creative uses for this coming across my feed in Vine. I really enjoy it so follow me there just search for Tim Schmoyer all one word love to kind of interact with some of you guys there on some shorter very short form content six seconds or less in a lot of really com fun cool ways now on to some other type of news and this is really I I'm attempting to take several different stories several different video clips and kind of mashing them all into one basically boiling it down to what is what it means for those of us who are video creators here on YouTube if you want to know more about any of this stuff in detail links to the original source stories are in the description text below so go check those out and the first thing is that maker studios is rumored it's not fact not been announced no press releases or anything they're just rumored to maybe be starting working on their own YouTube competitor maker studios officially has no comment about this but if you start looking at some of the sources that are kind of going into this rumor it could start to make sense that maker might want to explore some other options besides YouTube which is a platform they do not control they don't have a say on what updates are made to the platform or how their partners content is presented. So you might be able to see how someone as massive as Maker, especially if they linked arms with full screen and Machinima and a lot of other networks, how they could really change and shift a powerful viewing source from YouTube towards something else that they do have more control over. Kind of coinciding with that story is another one from a guy whose channels are funded by YouTube and they offered him a second round of funding and he said no thank you. His blog post is linked up below and you'll find some other YouTubers like Hank Green and others are chiming in on the conversation and his concerns are similar to what presumably Maker Studios might be sharing and that is YouTube has way too much control and they're taking way too much money and we want to go someplace where we can have direct access with our fan base. If you think about it, for example, your subscribers to your channel, you don't know who they are, you don't even have their email address, you can't follow up with them very well outside of YouTube. Basically, the only access you have to them is through YouTube's system of posting a video. Now, you can build your audiences in your Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and Pinterest, you know, other places like that too, but it's not quite the same. And the third story that goes along with the former two is an interview with Philip DeFranco's financial advisor about his new recent switch to sell all of his DeFranco properties and and become a VP at Revision 3. He's still active on his channel, but he no longer owns that business and everything there, including SourceFed and all those properties. Why did he make that move? With a deal like this, I'd imagine that there are many, many different factors and variables that go into this. But one of the things his financial advisor said is that with all the inventory on YouTube that their AdWords teams has to sell, it's invariably the CPM is just not keeping up. And he said that we can make a higher CPM by working directly with advertisers who will pay a premium for access to our audience because they know they're engaged, they know their demographic, they know a lot of information about the people 
people that they're trying to reach. The other thing he says is something that we've talked about here a lot of video creators, and that is if you want to make money on YouTube, you had to think of your channel not just as a hobby, as if just throwing up some vlogs and some fun, fun videos is going to make you a lot of money, but instead you had to think of it in terms of being a business. And being a business has many more implications than just kind of throwing up fun videos here and there. One of the major implications is that you have to find revenue streams outside of YouTube to really make it sustainable. You can't just rely on AdSense. It doesn't really pay a whole lot. It can be fickle and it definitely won't support a production team and everything else that you need to really make the type of quality content that advertisers really want to gravitate towards and really want to support and all that kind of stuff. Personally, I think YouTube is a great place to be, but I'm not putting all my eggs in this basket. Like, for example, you've been seeing at the end of these videos, I kind of promote my free ebook, which will probably be going out uh, this week or next week, called The Secret to Building Your YouTube Audience. It's going to be totally free for you guys, but you get it free by becoming a Video Creators Insider and signing up for our email list. That way, I can connect with you a little bit outside of YouTube rather than just relying on you checking your YouTube subscriptions or even that the YouTube algorithm favors my content enough to put it at the top of your home feed or just kind of even put it in front of your eyeballs. Like it's a, a better way for me to connect in, with you guys outside of YouTube. So that's why I'm focusing on building an email list outside of YouTube as well as the subscribership stuff here for my channel inside YouTube as well. I'm also working on some different revenue streams outside of AdSense which I will be talking about shortly. I'm very sure of it. You'll hear about that soon. And there's a lot of other stuff coming too because one, I trust YouTube but not enough to like just go hook line and sinker into this platform and put all my eggs in this basket to use that analogy again. <laughs> I wouldn't be too surprised that within the next year or two, maybe three, that we start seeing Yahoo video and other online video platforms starting to gain popularity with creators because of the higher level of trust and credibility and the options that they have in order to engage and interact with their audiences and all that type of stuff. So we'll see. YouTube's the main player. It'll be take a lot to topple them, but I could see some sub niches forming into some other online video spaces. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below what you think about all this. Do you trust YouTube? Are you putting all your eggs in this basket? And if not, how are you diversifying and spreading across like other ways of connecting with your audience and all that kind of stuff, monetization, everything? I'd love to hear from you guys. This could be a really good discussion. I'm really looking forward to having that with you guys down there. So leave those comments below. And if you are new here, this is your first time hanging out, we'd love to have you subscribe every week. We take a look at online video news, talk about it, kind of like we did here today. On Wednesdays, we give you guys some YouTube tips and advice and ideas. And on Thursdays, we do some Q&A, which is going to be a longer video this Thursday because I took a lot of your questions out to San Francisco with me to YouTube headquarters last week. And I asked them all the questions that you guys submitted for me to ask to them and I have all those answers coming up for you guys on Thursday so subscribe thanks for hanging out and I'll see you guys again tomorrow bye